Salutations to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the pre Shaman, this lesson is going to be entitled Don't Set Up Camp at These Protests. The inspiration for the show comes from the fact that these uh, guys out here, I'm going to read this tweet by Will Somer. It says, a group of what appears to be members of the black Israelite extremist group have arrived at Congress with clubs, <clears throat> which really they got staffs, you know, but look, see, right there, you're setting yourself up. Now, from what I've been told is that this is a box camp, and um, even if that's a box camp, this is a discretionary warning. All right, that look, the apostles, we're not, the apostles don't tell us to do anything like this. The scriptures don't say to do anything like this. One, you go in there, nobody's going to be interested in the word. All right, you got fucking rebel bullets flying, um, cock, ma mazatov, kof, uh, mazatov, <laughs> mazatov cocktails being thrown. The last thing on these Edomites' mind are listening to a bunch of niggas in, in, in some strange clothes is what they're thinking, right? Two, you're going to just blacklight yourself. Uh, you're just going to, um, Gaslight yourself and put a target on your back because what's stopping them now from even if these guys are going out there sincerely deceived, what's stopping them now from setting up Adrian Provocateurs and using you and playing the shit out of you? You know, they could pin you at the cream of the sun, uh, pin you at the uh, scene of the crime. You out there trying to teach in the midst of this chaos, <laughs> right? With your megaphones, they could create some shit and then blame it on you. You're already out there screaming, you hate white people, right? Matthew 7 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Now, these guys did the sheep thing part, right? Right? They didn't go out there to cause no um harm. That's that's a good part. But it said, Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and that's the part they lacked. Because going out there in the midst of a protest is just not wise. Who are you gonna teach like that? You know what I'm saying? All you're gonna do is just put a target on your back. It says, and harmless as doves. Right, so yeah, again, they got the sheep and harmless as dope. Well, I don't know, man. Some of these guys could be wolves. Honestly, I'm just going to come straight out and say it. Speaking as a man, you know, um, you've seen it with the IUIC. Uh, propaganda. The dude got a lie, came out, said they do propaganda. They do pretty much false flags, gaslight other camps. These guys do other things, man. So, look, man, if these guys are trying to bait us or bait other Israelites to going out there to these protests and... And, and getting involved in that, shit, we ain't doing that. And I wouldn't advise any sincere people out there listening that are a part of this Israelite truth, don't follow that, you know? Because, you know, things have to be done to some sort of edification. And uh, there's no edification in that, man. You know, your voice, your voice is just, it's just not uh, expedient to do that. Colossians 4 and 5, walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. So walking in wisdom, our wisdom is found in the scriptures. 1 Timothy's 3rd uh, chapter, 15 verse, or 2 Timothy's. I believe it's, let me see, it's 2 Timothy's 3, 16. I'm read it, go ahead. 2 Timothy's 3 and 16, all scripture is given. Slack, yeah. 2 Timothy's 3 and 15. And that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith in um, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So our wisdom is ordained through the scriptures, right? And, and the scriptures told us how to deal. Okay, one, we know that this is already ordained of the Most High. The civil unrest, second is just the 15th chapter. A lot of it too is staged propaganda. We, you know, Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Be not ignorant of Satan devices. You know, they could mingle up. Agent provocateurs in there. They could have people come out that look just like you, acting like they listening, but really are cops. So, I mean, shit, bro. That's why Yahweh Shai, you know, um, told us how to go out there and teach, how to be wise. Wait a minute, when the Romans was coming to seize Jerusalem, Yahweh Shai said flee in the mountains, man. You know, he didn't say, yo, set up camp and shit and, you know, start giving them hell. You know? We're supposed to be harmless and wise. And this right there, hmm, I ain't with it, you know. It says, walk in the wisdom towards them that are without, redeeming the time. And that's what we're doing, we're redeeming the times. We're looking back at the times that we're in and what's the times that we're in? Well, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, says there's a time 
in a, in a season, there's a time and a purpose. Um, it's like this time and season. Let me just get it, man. It's like my mind is right now I'm butchering the scripture. So pardon me. Forgive me, Akim. Let me just go ahead and read this. Please ask these three and one. To everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Right. So. There's a time for every th uh, purpose under the sun, because the scripture says redeem in the time. So check out the time that we're in. Let's jump down to verse 3. It says a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. So we're in a time of things being broken down. We're in a time of people trying to kill. All right. Jump 8 now. Here we are now. It says a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And we're in a time of hate and war. Because the scripture says the love of many shall wax cold. Right? Matthew the 12th chapter concerning the end times. So we're in a time of hate and war. You know, that's what we're seeing right now in the world. And just when you thought 2020 was over and this, that, and good, and boom. You know, civil unrest and protest. And they actually use the word sedition in one of these newscasters. So this is the time that we're living in. And that's all we're redeeming. We're bringing it back. You know, putting together these shows, putting together these videos to edify the people to let them know what the hell is going on. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Right? So when you're walking around, you know, or, or, or moving, you're right. You're looking around. You're looking full circle. All right. Not just literally standing in a spot and turning 360 on your feet. No, you're looking at every situation at a 300 and 360 degree angle. You know what perspective this could lead to. What what's the point of this? You know how could that add up? This add up. And you know when you look at this, you know just look at the way it's set up. It just looks at just to easily put a target on your back. It says not as fools but as wise. Right. So. Um, we want to use the wisdom that was given to us from the scriptures and, 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 and thankfully, Yahabashim Yashai have appointed leaders, men, all right, that help us guide on that path of wisdom. All right. So yeah, quick lesson, you know, I see the IUIC, if this guy's always a box camp and these different camps out there trying to jump in the heart of these protests for what, who knows? Um, but there's no, I mean, there's no. This, this thing is just not expedient, you know. All right, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakotash, the blinds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. And salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim to stock him, that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. Shalom.